Hi, my name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align, and today I'd like to introduce the new T-Rex 150 DFC Combo. Uh, we are going to show the bind procedure with the MRS system on our 150, and we're going to utilize the Spectrum DX8 radio system doing both DSM2 and DSMX uh, type protocol, and we're going to show those bind procedures with your 150 here. In addition, though, we're also going to show the Futaba SFHSS protocol, which is available in the uh, 14SG radius system here. And we're going to show those procedures. In addition to that, though, we're also going to show the setup for your radio uh, from endpoint adjustments, uh, dual rate expo, uh, servo reversing, as well as gyro settings. Uh, pitch and throttle curves for both normal and idle up for each of the radio systems. You'll find that they're very unique um, as far as in the reverse functionality, but in all the other aspects of the radio programming, the numbers are actually very similar. So why don't you uh, watch and enjoy. If, I'm going to get tight on this so you can see firsthand what needs to be done while binding to each of these radio systems. All right, we're getting started with the DX8 Spectrum radio system, and we're going to be programming our helicopter for its normal flight operation before the bind process. So why don't we switch on? And we're going in the setup screen here, and we're going to go to model select, and we're selecting our T-Rex 150 DFC model. It's a model I've already set up for myself, but you'll have to do that to select a model for yourself, name it. And then we're going to go into model type, and we're going to select helicopter. The next, if we were selecting a new name, we'd select model name and, and, and do that here. Squash type, we want to select the squash type here is normal one servo okay so make sure that it's a normal one servo you don't want this to be in something other than this okay so three servos 120 with ccpm the mrs system does all the mixing for you so make sure you have it on one servo one servo 90 that you see here that's what you want for setting up your mrs now, when you select, go down here. All right, we're getting ready to bind the DSM-2 satellite to the MRS unit here. We need to make sure in our radio though that we've selected DSM-2 and we've also provided the correct frame rate. So DSM-2 down here and up here, we wanna change that to 22 milliseconds there so we have it at 22 and then at DSM 2 and we'll go to servo setup here and I'm going to go well first of all I'm going to show you the travel volumes here just like we did our other video and showing the throttle 100 100 on servo travel aileron 100 100 Elevators 100 100, rudders 100 100, gyros 100 100 on travel. Pitch is 70 70. So if you watch our other videos, you'll notice that it's very common. It uses the same numbers, and this is what's a great feature of the MRS and using H1 or in this case 90 degrees one servo is that the values can can carry over to many radio types. So anyway, we have 70 70 there. And now what we're going to check out is we're going to check out the reverse of all these channels. All right. And in gyro, you'll notice it's set to normal.
Pitch is set to reverse. Rudder is set to reverse. Elevator is set to reverse. And aileron is set to reverse. Throttle is set to normal. Okay, this is where you'll find the key differences between the Futaba system and the Spectrum system as far as the reverse. But the values are identical practically. So, you know, aside from that, there was this reverse here. Setup is very simple, numbers articulate, but you must have this set up correctly as far as in the servo menu, as far as the reverse orientation there. So, now that we've done that, let's check out our dual rate and exponential. This can be tailored to your particular flying style. Uh, in this case right here, let's see if I can get just a little tighter here. So you can see that. We have aileron, have 100-100, on our dual rate and our expo is set to 30 percent this again can be adjusted to your particular flying style depending on your needs and desired flight control feel elevator again 100 100 30 percent on expo rudder 100 100 on the uh, dual rate but we have 10 uh, 15 percent Expo here. Uh, it is positive in the uh, spectrum system and use negative values in Futaba's radio systems, just so you know. Okay. So that covers our dual rate and Expo setup. Very simple. You use elevator, aileron, rudder. 30, 30 on, uh, on your aileron, elevator, 15 on your rudder. It's back out of here and now we're going to go into <clears throat> Our throttle curve. Our throttle curve is a nice smooth curve there that you'll see as it ramps up and that starts off from 0, 42 at the 25 percent position, goes up to 65, 78 and then 80 percent. This is for our normal throttle operation. When we go to idle 1, you'll see again the same V curve that you saw on the Futaba uh, setup and it uses the same numbers actually. It's 100% at 25% you're using 90% this enables inverted flight. Mid stick you're at 80% at three quarter stick you're at 90% and at full throttle you're at 100%. So this V curve will enable inverted flight for you, if you're just getting started or new to this, you'll need to have this V-curve in order to fly and perform inverted flight. Again, on our throttle curves here, you can tailor these to your specific flight needs and change them to suit your flying style. This is set up for, for the performance of doing 3D with the T-Rex 150 DFC, but again, this can be altered to suit your needs. Alright, let's back out here and we'll go to pitch. At pitch curve, again, you'll see a nice, subtle transition. Uh, we start off at 44%, not negative, no. Actually, it's positive. And you want to see these numbers like this. Again, this is to make it a very subtle transition as you're advancing your pitch and throttle at the same time. Again, making it very smooth in normal flight. So we have 44. At 25%, we have 52. At mid stick, we have 74. At three quarter stick, we're at 84%, and at high stick, we're at 93%. Okay, this is our pitch setting for normal. Now we're gonna go to our idle up one. Idle up one is a linear line 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. Straight linear line is all we need to get our helicopter flying. As far as our setup, Pretty much done. There's only one other area we need to cover is our gyro setup here. And you'll notice that there is actually two settings between normal and idle one here. I had 50 and 48. The reason why I turned it down just a hair in uh, stunt one is because of the increased head speed. Again, the gyro you can tailor this 
but you should be within a few points of these values here. So right now it's at 50. You may want to bump it up a little higher uh, as far as uh, your tail, get it locking in even harder, or you may want to back it down depending on the head speed, again, that you're running. So 48 would be the other value there for our idle up. So again, tailor it to your flight needs, but if you're just getting started, these are great numbers to get started with and will enable you to fly your helicopter successfully. All right, we're getting ready to buy in the DSM-2 satellite to the MRS unit here. We need to make sure in our radio though that we've selected DSM-2 and we've also provided the correct frame rate. So DSM-2 down here and up here we want to change that to 22 milliseconds there. So we have it at 22 and then at DSM-2 right here on the dial. Get out of that. Get the radio boot up. All right, the radio is ready to go for accepting the bind process with the DSM-2 satellite. So let's go ahead and switch off. We're gonna install the jumper inside of the MRS unit here. Put that in. Put that there, so that's jumpers plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and connect the battery and we're gonna switch on our radio holding down the bind button We've got DSM 2 1024 at 22 microseconds we're gonna pull off the jumper you notice you have two solid green lights there and you'll notice that the satellite is now solid and in the top corner of your radio pull that up so you can see that it shows DSM-2 in that top right corner of your radio. This is to let you know what satellite system you're actually connected to. Uh, you'll want to check that when you're doing the uh, DSM-X type satellites to make sure that you've connected appropriately. And I'll cover that right now. Okay, this is the DSM-X portion of the buying process with Spectrum Radio Systems. In this case, I'm using the DX8 radio with the Align T-Rex 150 DFC combo. We're going to be using, again, a satellite, the DSM-X. I just showed the DSM-2 satellite uh, bind process. But before we get started, we need to set up our radio. So let's go on our radio here. Make sure I did that correctly. We're going to hold down the button here on the radio and power up. All right, now we're in the uh, system setup. And we're going to scroll down. We're scrolling down here to frame rate and I'm going to change my frame rate to 11 milliseconds and I'm going to change from DSM-2 to DSM-X. You want to make sure you do that before you set up your satellite with DSM-X in order to take advantage of DSM-X technology. If not, what will happen is it will bind but it will be bound in the DSM-2 type mode. So just so you know, you want 11 microseconds and you want it to be in DSMX. We'll go ahead and power down the radio system. All right, we're going to install our uh, DSMX satellite. Same way we did with the DSM2. We'll plug that in here with the included wire that uh, Align provides with the kit that the wire is included. And the only difference with DSMX when we're uh, doing this, we're going to put our jumper in. We put the jumper in here. But the, uh, let me get that, make sure I get that in. All right. I have my jumper plugged in there. What the key difference is with the DSM-X when binding with the MRS system is that you're going to hold the set button here with the included little screwdriver that comes with your kit. You're going to hold that down when you apply power or the battery. So we're going to hold down set. And this is only with DSM-X you're going to do this. You hold down set. 
press that down, make sure it's pressed, and then install the power. Go ahead and you can take your hand off after you initially power up. And then hold down bind, turn on the power. Binding DSM X. Okay, let's pull the jumper out here. You have two green lights and you're bound in DSM X. You want to check this in the top screen of your radio just like you did with DSM 2 and it says DSM X. Now you're bound in DSM X protocol with Spectrum Radio Systems. So we're bound. We have the same program that we utilized for the DSM 2. We're just in DSM X. So regardless of what satellite system you're using, you can see it's very easy to get in and out of uh, which type of radio system you're using. So if you're sharing with your friends or switching from radio to radio, it's very easy to do with the Align T-Rex 150 DFC model. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it helps in your buying procedure. I think it's very simple as far as the settings uh, that we've uh, shown in the manual. Uh, very easy to navigate. Basically, all your ATVs are at 100%. Your pitch is set to 70-70 and the settings in your curve are configured to make your model fly the best it can. My name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align. Thanks for watching.